hi everyone beautiful morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you are seeing this video it's been a long time yes it's really been a long time i welcome you all back to this channel <laughs> i'm so excited to be back here again welcome you back to the returning subscribers thank you so much god bless you for always coming back to watch my videos and for those that are seeing this channel for the first time this is jofia diy okay in today's video i want to quickly show you how i made uh, the soap base using palm kernel oil for those that don't uh, have money or for those sorry for those that can't afford coconut oil okay i want to quickly show you how i made mine let me walk you through the ingredients i'll be using i have in here my caustic soda my steric acid my oil my pumpkin oil my sugar solution i have dissolved it in water let me see it's dissolving i have also my alcohol i have my glycerin and the water to dissolve the caustic soda okay now let's quickly dive into today's video okay i'll be using hot method hot process for this soup okay you can use a semi hot but i want to i'll still post the the video of the semi hot but for today for this video i used hot method okay now this is my my heat my source of heat my i'm using stove you can use your gas top you can use a uh, cold pot whatever sort of heat you have but i always use my stove for my hot method okay there are different methods to this transparent soup which some people will tell you that there's no standard measurement for a transparent uh, for soap base which i disagree i calculated all the ingredients i'm using in all my soap base okay from the oil down to the solvent they all have their their percentages they all have their quantities okay now can you see the quality of the palm kernel oil i'm using it is taught to the last grade it's not even the first grade okay now i'm adding in into the oil my steric acid okay which uh you should do add your oil to your steric acid for it to dissolve okay or you dissolve your steric acid then you add your oil for um, the, the the reason i added the steric acid into the oil is one to heat up the oil and to also dissolve the steric acid all right so can you see it's dissolving the, it's melting okay the steric acid is melting all right so as that was melting i will quickly uh, dissolve my caustic soda into my into the water the quantity of water i'll be using I'll dissolve the caustic soda and you know we we'll begin the process all right so let me just quickly do that as the oil is um heating up okay now the everything has melted down and the oil is now warm i will go ahead and add my caustic soda which i have dissolved okay i'm adding the caustic soda now for the soap to trace okay make sure that your heat is on low Make sure your heat is on low it's it to be as if you are using a double boiler okay make sure the heat the, the the heat the source of heat the heat is very very low okay please if you have um a thermometer use it and check the the temperature of your oil and your lye to avoid the soup you know separating okay so when you mix the lye into the oil and, and steric acid you're going to get something like this okay you're going to get something like this like a first trace you're going to trace or harden up and when that hardens up make sure that everything has you know come together it's like it kind of blocked then you now add your glycerin okay some people they do and sometimes i do mix my glycerin with my alcohol i'll mix both together then i'll add it into the soup butter the traced soup okay then i will mix it and you know allow it to 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 melt down to dissolve to break down okay that the reason why uh solvent is being used in transparent soap is for it to uh, pass through the the soap granules okay you know as the soap has uh, traced you need something to break it down 
to you know to melt it down which if you leave it on fire like that it's not going to melt down so that is the reason why solvents are being used solvents are alcohol um, glycerin sugar sorbitol you know there are so many uh, solvents which you can use but i personally like working with the ones i mentioned earlier in this video so after adding the earth glycerin and the alcohol you allow it to you allow the soap granules to melt okay this is the reaction that um it's happening this is what is showing that the soup is breaking down okay so i'm going to stir it stir it you know to help the soup easily break down and at this stage you can cover it in order to trap in the solvents which helps in breaking down the soap granules okay see i just covered it to the, to show you you can cover it provided that your your heat is very it's on low okay so uh, this is the reaction you get okay so you cover it and you know be checking it from time to time the reason why you covered it i said that to help trapping the solvent especially the alcohol you know alcohol evaporates so being that the heat is low you, if you cover it it will help trapping the alcohol not to evaporate because it's the alcohol that is the main uh, solvent for breaking down the soup okay now see how it is the soap is melting okay it's remaining just a little for it to completely melt okay i just covered it can you see to show you that it's um already it has melted just remaining just mm, some granules to completely melt down all right so i'm going to stir it to um aid in melting it okay everything has melted down i want to add in this is the sugar i'm adding in now sugar solution okay earlier on you know i use i i dissolved my sugar with uh, warm water I keep it before uh, this production all right so immediately you add your sugar just tear it and bring it down because if you leave it on fire it will caramelize it the more change the color can you see my stove there is no flame at all on it showing me that my heat is very my heat was very very low i reduced i reduced the heat you know that i said earlier it's more like using a double boiler to make this soup Okay, so another thing that will caramelize this soup as in change the color from clear transparent to a kind of brown is when you overheat it. Don't overheat it. That is why I always say bring down your heat to be low. Okay, if you cannot control your heat, okay, just use a uh, semi hot. I'll see post a video of the semi hot. All right, so this you have seen how simple this soup it is to make this soup. Okay, and you two can try it and don't forget to show me how yours turned out, how yours you know um came out. All right, so I'm going to pour it into the mold and leave it uh, to harden to solidify. Then I will mold it. The stearic acid also helps in hardening the soup fast. Okay, after pouring it into the mold, I'm going to I spray in alcohol. Uh, the same alcohol you use, just spray it on the soup to help clear the bubbles. Okay, now I did something again. I used this soup to make a whitening bar soup. I'm going to post the video of that whitening bar soup later, not here. Okay, I just used part of this soup um as my base you know this is a soap base you're making here so i use part of this soap as my soap base all right so that's just it after pouring it into the mold you leave it to harden then you unmold okay please if you found this video interesting and helpful please consider subscribing to this channel give this video a thumbs up like and you can also share to those that you think that need to see this video and please comment in the comment section let me know um whatever you have to say you have to tell me um regarding this video okay i still spray alcohol on this to clear the bubbles all right so after the soup uh has hardened i molded it you know i made this soup at night okay the previous night the previous night of this or more than now okay guys so because i had a physical training with someone from portacot nigeria 
so this is the soap onboarding can you see how beautiful it is it's very simple to make don't forget to okay practice it and show me how your stones are there's so many um there's so many transparent uh soap in the market there are so many soap based in the market that even that are not even as clear as this and people are buying it for the organic soup you too can make it and start it as a business remember our training is still on in case you want to enroll for any of our training is still on okay see you all in the next video bye